Good day. This is Teacher Norley. Today, we are going to talk about fractions. Specifically, adding similar fractions, adding dissimilar fractions, and adding mixed forms. Are you ready? For our first lesson, let us have adding similar fractions. We have 3 8 pizza and 1 8 pizza. They are called similar fractions because they have the same denominators. If we will add 3 eighths and 1 eighth, obviously we will get 4 eighths or 1 half. But how about adding them using the correct process? First, we need to add the numerators. 3 plus 1 equals 4. Then, since we have the same denominators, we will just copy the denominator which is 8 and the sum is 4 8. 4 8 is a higher term so we need to simplify it to 1 half. Let us have another example. We have 3 8 and 6 8. Let's add them using the method we used earlier. First, let's add the numerators. 3 plus 6 is 9. Then, copy the common denominator. Here, the common denominator is 8, so 8 is our denominator. 9 8 is an improper fraction, meaning we need to rename our answer to mixed form or mixed fraction. So our final answer will be 1 and 1 8. Adding mixed fractions. Let's add 4 and 5 8 and 2 and 2 8. First, add the numerators. 5 plus 2 is 7. Next, add the whole numbers. 4 plus 2 is 6. Copy the common denominator. 8 is our denominator. Simplify answer if needed. 7 8 is in simplest form, so our final answer will be 6 and 7 8. Let us now go to adding the similar fractions. We have 1 half, 1 third, and 1 sixth. They are called the similar fractions because they have different denominators. But by just looking at the figures, we can say that their sum is 1 or 1 whole. Add them using the process. First, find the LCD or the least common denominator of 2, 3, and 6. 6 is our denominator. Then divide the LCD by the denominator and then multiply by the numerator. And we will get 3. 6 divided by 3 times 1 is 2. 6 divided by 6 times 1 is 1. Take note that 1 half and 3 6 are equal. 1 third and 2 six are equal. We just renamed them to similar fractions. Since we have now similar fractions, we can add them using the same steps in adding similar fractions. 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 6. Then copy the common denominator 6. 6 6 is equal to 1 or 1 whole. Let's have another example. 1 fourth plus 5 six. The LCD of 1 fourth and 5 six is 12. 12 divided by 4 times 1 is 3. 12 divided by 6 times 5 is 10. So we have now similar fractions. Let's add 3 and 10 
to get 13, then copy the common denominator 12. 13 12 is an improper fraction. So our final answer will be 1 and 1 12. Let us go to adding mixed forms with the similar fractions. Let us have 4 and 6 eighths plus 2 and 3 sixths. Let's change them to similar fractions using the LCD of 6 eighths and 3 sixths. 24 divided by 8 times 6 is 18. 24 divided by 6 times 3 is 12. Copy the whole numbers 4 and 2. Since we have now similar fractions, we can add the numerators 18 and 12 to get 30. Then add the whole numbers 4 and 2 to get 6. Then copy the common denominator 24. 30 24 is an improper fraction. So let's change it to 1 and 6 24 Then add the whole number 6 and 1 to get 7. Since 6 24 is a higher term, let's change it to lowest term 1 fourth. Our final answer is 7 and 1 fourth. Let's recap. To add similar fractions, add the numerators Copy the common denominator and simplify answer if needed. To add the similar fractions, change the similar to similar fractions, follow the steps in adding similar fractions, and simplify answer if needed. To add mixed fractions, add the numerators, add the whole numbers, copy the common denominator, and of course, simplify answer if needed. Are you ready to answer your modules?